we're going to solve the equation 1.1x plus 1.14 equals 1.36. The solution is a value of x that satisfies the equation, which means the solution is a value of x that makes the expression 1.1x plus 1.14 equal to 1.36. In order to solve the equation for x, we need to isolate x on one side of the equation, but because the equation contains decimals, we first need to decide whether we want to solve the equation with decimals in it or multiply both sides of the equation by a value that will clear the decimals from the equation. In this video, we will be clearing the decimals from the equation before we solve. To determine what value to multiply both sides of the equation by, we need to look at all the decimals and determine the most number of decimal places that exist. Notice how we have at most two decimal places, which means we can clear the decimals by multiplying both sides of the equation by, by 10 squared, or 100. So for the first step, let's multiply both sides of the equation by 100. And let's go ahead and show each product. We have 100 times 1.1x plus 100 times 1.14 equals 100 times 1.36. So again, the shortcut for multiplying by 100 is to move the decimal point to the right two places. And therefore, 100 times 1.1x is equal to 110x, plus 100 times 1.14 is equal to 114, equals 100 times 1.36 equals 136. Notice now we have a basic two-step equation that does not contain decimals. The solution to this equation will be the same solution to the original equation. And because we can solve for x in two steps, this is often called a two-step equation, where the next step is to isolate the variable term by adding or subtracting. So because we don't want this plus 114 here, we need to perform the inverse or opposite operation. To undo plus 114, we subtract 114 on both sides of the equation. And now we simplify both sides. Subtracting 114 undoes plus 114, or 114 minus 114 is zero. So we have 110x on the left. On the right, we have 136 minus 114, which equals 22. And now we have a one-step equation. We need to solve the equation 110x equals 22. And because 110x means 110 times x, we need to undo this multiplication by performing the opposite or inverse operation. To undo multiplying by 110, we need to divide both sides by 110. On the left, dividing by 110 undoes multiplying by 110, or 110 divided by 110 is equal to one, and one times x is x. So we have x equals 22 100 tenths, but we cannot leave the solution in this form if we were going to give the solution as a fraction, it must be in simplest form, but because the original equation contained decimals, it would be more common to give the solution as a decimal. But let's go ahead and simplify the fraction first. The greatest common factor between 22 and 110 is 22, and therefore to simplify the fraction, we'll divide the numerator and denominator by 22. So as a fraction, we have x equals 22 divided by 22 is 1. 110 divided by 22 is equal to 5. So our solution is 1 fifth, but 1 fifth is equal to 0 0.2. Remember to convert a fraction to a decimal, we divide the numerator by the denominator. 1 divided by 5 equals 0 0.2. Before we go, let's verify our solution does satisfy the equation by substituting 0 0.2 for x in the original equation. Performing the substitution, we would have 1.1 times 0 0.2 plus 1.14 equals 1.36. Let's evaluate the left side of the equation on the calculator and make sure it is equal to 1.36. So we have 1.1 times 0 0.2 plus 1.14. You notice how we do get 1.36. So because 1.36 equals 1.36, this verifies our solution is correct. I hope you found this helpful.